I'm not here to rant today, but I'm going to put in a request during the course of this video. And I'm going to keep this as quick as possible. It's just a follow on from a video that I posted in recent days explaining an incident that took place on Saturday on the roads of Sydney or nearby. In the Royal National Park, I had a very close call with an oncoming vehicle. I said in the video that I thought I was going to die and I stick to that. I maintained that I felt that my life was under threat because of the actions of a motorist. As far as I know, there will be no ramifications for the person who almost hit me head on. With the exception of me and the car that it was passing and the driver himself, no one else knows about that incident. It happened in the bush, essentially. There were no CCTV cameras nearby and I wasn't recording on video on my bike with a timestamp code and collecting the footage that I ought to have. And even if I had, I'm still not convinced there'd be any ramification for the driver. In the days since I posted the video, I've had a huge response. A lot of old friends have gotten back in contact and said hello and I hope that I'm okay and I am okay. A lot of readers have asked the same and I want to be clear, I feel fine and I'm ready to ride again. It's just the weather's been horrendous in Sydney. I've also been in touch with a few people who have had similar incidents happen to them. And the footage that's associated with this video explains a situation similar to mine that Peter Whittle endured in September last year. In a few weeks on the 3rd of March, it'll be six months since Peter Whittle had a very close call with a car that was overtaking a B-double truck. All of the incident was captured on the video. Front and rear cameras on Peter's bike, and then later, Peter himself sourced the dash cam footage of the truck. The truck drivers made a statement to police. Peter Whittle himself has done everything possible to try and see to it that the driver involved at least understands what he's done so that he doesn't keep doing it. Peter has been told that there's a six month limit on when prosecution can happen and the driver of the VW that you see overtaking the truck and almost taking him out is still at large. If you have similar stories, can you please share them? Because one of the things that's prompted me to do this video this afternoon is a message that I got from Peter just now. He refrained from watching the video that I posted about Saturday's incident and me in the Royal National Park because he didn't want to be reminded of what he went through. Oh, it was terrifying. I, I, I cried. I just stopped. I just, I didn't know. What, I've just, I've been in tears. I've just composed myself. I want to keep going. I'm going to keep going. I really, I want to do this. I'm, I'm allowed to do this. Rob, I just watched this instead of having seen the video. I couldn't before because I anticipated a distress from my own and I didn't want the flashback. I can sympathise, I understand why, because I've had many flashbacks. And then he explains, it's not okay. We have to speak out and not be put down by those who should be protecting us. Thank you. By that he means the police who continue to offer excuses as to why they haven't chased down the driver and at least let him understand what his dangerous actions have contributed to. Peter survived the accident because it didn't happen, but that doesn't mean it wasn't a traumatic incident. And the person who did that should take some responsibility. This is a cycling channel and I want to encourage people to ride bikes. And I think Peter means that we all should stick up for each other by explaining the situations we found ourselves in. And maybe we can start highlighting some of the issues that cyclists are facing in a country that has rules that should protect them. Unfortunately, they're just not policed very well at the moment. I've got a lot more to add, but I'll just keep it like that. Please ride a bike. It's a wonderful thing to do. But if you feel like you've been threatened while you're in traffic because you're a bike rider, I'd really be grateful if you could share your story too. 
I hope all of that makes sense. I look forward to hearing your stories. And I'm sorry if you've been through something like what Peter has. It scars you. It leaves a deep impression. But it's not going to stop me from riding a bike. I knew I should have gone earlier, but I was... It's a Monday morning and I was distracted. I had things on my mind. And I knew the light would be good. I just didn't know it would be this beautiful. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm captivated. Look at, oh, I'm in an ugly, ugly zone, right? But look, 